Today, Mayor Joe Hogsett announced another effort to combat crime in Indianapolis. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brooke Martin. And I'm Mike Bars. Thanks for joining us. It's a new position in his office, the Director of Community Violence Reduction. News 8's Brenna Donnelly attended the big announcement and is live in the east side. Brenna, uh, who do they pick for this? Well, guys, a, a woman named Shauna Majors has the job tonight, and she's tasked with the huge responsibility of reducing the crime rate in Indianapolis. Now, that includes tackling the sources of crime. Think poverty, drug abuse, mental health, also the avenues of crime like abandoned homes and stolen firearms. And she's got to do it all in a city that just might break its own homicide record this year. After a year of promises. For a unified front to better combat rising crime. And a record-breaking year of crime. This is my job. This is my responsibility. Today, Mayor Joe Hogsett announces. By the city of Indianapolis's first director of community violence reduction, Shauna Majors. Shauna Majors is from Indy's East Side. She has a degree in criminology and decades of experience in criminal justice, starting when she was 16. Being hanging out with the wrong people at the wrong time, and, and I was shot. I still have the bullet in my back next to my spine right now. So this is near and dear to me. This is not a job. This is a mission for me. Majors will also be the connection between police and community groups. She'll also oversee the indie peacemakers. Um, that's going to be the first thing that I do is get a team together to help assist with this effort, going out, being on the ground in the grassroots, working with the community organizations that are recipients of this grant. <laughs> That grant is $1 million over three years, going right into the hands of violence prevention efforts. We, we want to look at the wraparound services and, and the main issues I think that we want to look at will be substance abuse, uh, mental health, lack of education, job training is important. Employment is going to be really critical. It's well received today. She shared a bit of her story, and it truly seems like she's the best person for this job. But will it stick? We just got to follow through. As a community, uh, we got to challenge each other, all the residents, to make sure that this plan is brought to fruition and that it's not a, just a, a one-way street. Now, Major's first day on the job is June 18th, but she's already encouraging neighborhood groups to apply for some of that funding from the city. The link is up online and inside this story on WishTV.com. Live on the Far East Side, I'm Brenna Donnelly, WishTV News 8.